All right. Uh, hello. <coughs> this is clearly not the originally played episode. I mean, technically, the played episode for this week was Iron Widow, but that got uploaded last week because I was stressed with other things, so I didn't get around to reading Maelstrom. I finally did. I didn't get far. Uh, because, you know, things... Also, there's, like, some stuff with Stingray and life stuff happening right now, so getting to the point of being able to sit down and record was a little difficult, so there was a question of whether or not we'd even be able to record the episode if I finished the book. But that's fine because I did finish the book. I did have that 15% of uh, the writing was so complicated. I have half the mind to pull up my copy so that I can just read some great A quotes. I, I don't know what to tell you, fam. It was so weird. Uh, I gotta find a good one. Here's one of my favorites, okay? Hear me out. Mail which is for, for Maelstrom, which is the name of the main character, inclined his head in acquiescence. But what was the point of his commander's tritonary nobility if Tritona was raised forever? The Belgard commander spun away toward the bridge. I'll contact the Big Sky Alien Mail Order Bride. That is actual a title of an actual thing. Outpost and find out why my mate wasn't at the rendezvous. Glared back over his shoulder at Mail. Do not take any random Earther females. You know, that's just a random one. Uh, there's so many. And I, I, I just couldn't do it. Uh, I, I am half hardly scrolling through it on my Kindle app to try to find more. But he, it, it's just... It's a lot of that. And uh, also mixed with that, uh, just straight up miscommunication. There was like things with like the overarching company they used to find a mate happened to be the same company that these three random women used, which I did check in this three book series. I'm pretty sure they're the three matches uh, used to like figure out why they are having weird medical mysteries going on um, and maybe related and whatnot. Uh, uh, but like either one of them's lying or it's all lie and it's actually a dating agency and none of them know this and so like he's having a conversation with his love interest in the book and she's like oh yeah the medical stuff and he's all like the dating agency but neither one of them are just saying it they're just saying ida and just talking about random stuff and the miscommunication was so heavy uh so i just couldn't do it and you know that's fine um, I spent a lot of time, uh, trying to decide if I should DNF it before Stingray told me to just do it. Uh, it wasn't worth it. There are also the chances that we wouldn't be able to record anyway, so, like, it's fine. Uh, and why not? So instead, you get this episode. I don't remember much about it because we recorded it, like, six months ago. <laughs> it was actually more like four or five, but, like, a long time ago. Uh, there may be many jokes about us recording in 2023 because we had already at that point me scheduled every episode for the year so there was no like no point when it was gonna go up it was just like this thing we pre-recorded to like go up if anything happened uh or as like a random episode where we needed a random episode some month or something like you know how there's months where there's four fridays in a week or five fridays stuff four um in a month so like that type of situation would happen then we can upload it uh that was the plan and all this jazz uh and so we'd always have like a safety net in case something happened also don't worry there's gonna be another episode in the next month that can be that uh because i'm gonna read a book that saying where i read recently anyways so we'll have another safety net episode but um yeah there's a lot of jokes because of that about us i remember uh recording in 2023 thinking it wasn't going to be up until some point in 2024 uh but otherwise this is hilarious content and just so funny just so funny um in other news just a few two things i want to bring up uh the first one is the strike writer strike is over that being said we will continue uh i mean the next episode is talk to me an a24 film uh it's already recorded mostly edited so that's gonna be next week's and the three movie saw show episodes we we're gonna do are still gonna be the three 
24 films. One, uh, just because they're already scheduled and halfway done. And two, uh, because the actor strike is still happening. Okay, uh, the other thing I want to bring up is that Adam McIntyre is doing a fundraiser right now for reaching 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, we love him. Uh, it is, I just checked, uh, when I checked yesterday, it was at like 85% funded for a target of, uh, 5,000 pound. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, but it's 104% right now, but like, uh, spreading awareness, especially since like, it's a fundraiser for a organization that, uh, we very much appreciate, especially since sexual assault is a thing in the series heavily um especially what like literally any guy that isn't jace to clary you know you know just god just i yeah all the flashbacks are going back from reading this series okay um but anyways that is the uh it's for nexus and it is a ni nexus and i yeah uh, which is a North Ireland uh, organization uh, working with uh, sexual abuse and abusive relationship survivors and whatnot. So uh, I wanted to support it. I was going to bring it up when we recorded the Maelstrom episode, but we didn't do that. Uh, so I'll bring that up now. Uh, I will link the fundraiser below. I believe it ends in a few days. So there's that. But um, yep, that's everything I have to say now. I'm going to leave off and uh, enjoy the rest of the normal episode that's not normal at all. Hello, uh, welcome to Official Flower Podcast. Uh, I'm Flower, aka Rose, and uh, my fun fact is that um, this is recorded in summer of 2023. This is at least coming out next year. I hope you know this. Uh, Okay. I, I do not have a plan when this is coming out. This is just one of the episodes that I was like, it'd be a good idea to do this this would be really funny and then i just started jokingly started asking you whether or not actual plot points in the moral sprint series were true or false uh at the end of the recording of the way of stars episode and so then i made a list and here we are we're, we're doing the first bits you the audience will be hearing is the ones from the end of that uh thrown in uh and then it will be all the new ones so good times um i think i wrote down 29 more and oh, there's some Lord. wild shit that happens in these books. Uh, shout out to the Shadowhunter wiki. I forgot characters' names and what specifically happened to some sick characters, so I had to look them up and be like, how did this character die? And the Shadowhunter wiki fucking rules. It has every detail ever. Hello? You don't need to read the books. Just read the Shadowhunter wiki. <laughs> you know, I must really love you and value this podcast because I could be taking a nap right now. Listen, you weren't taking a nap anyways. You were reading a book instead. And who needs to read me, is, I would like, like to read. Like I could tell you no and hang up on you, but I won't. Because <laughs> I, if if I wanted to, I would. But obviously, I don't. So here we are. I mean, look on the bright side. It's only twenty nine more. This will probably be a short episode too. So like, it's not that many. It won't take that long. I don't care. I can make the. What's the fucking? What are we gonna do about the graphic? I was what am I supposed to the same thing, and I don't know. Pure chaos. Do it like you make my thumbnails. Okay. I mean, you could already edit it and upload it, but keep it not uploaded until we need it, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna edit it uh, and then have it uh, as a draft and not scheduled at any time. And then at some point, when one of the months next year, when like. Uh, cause like generally it- I inevitably have a breakdown and we don't record. Yeah. Uh, that too, but also like, um, we generally have two Araka and one buddy read each month. So like, what's the general fourth, sometimes fifth episode going to be? Uh, and that's what all the other extra episodes I have bring down are for, um, for, for those type of situations so that I can- And that's why them. we should do the creepy pasta one. <laughs> Maybe someday. I'm not letting it go. All right. Um, you want to do your intro, Bestie? Oh, I guess so. I guess these people need to know who I am. I'm Fish, aka Stingray, and, um, I could be listening to the troop right now, but whatever. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, this is very much a stream of conscious podcast, very similar to how we talk to each other on a daily basis. Um, yeah, this is a 
uh, truth or false, I keep on almost wanting to say tr truth or dare. Uh, yeah, I, you said that earlier, and I was like, truth or dare, bestie? Okay. Uh, the Laurel Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Uh, spoilers for the whole entire series, for obvious reasons. I don't remember what my average rating of the whole entire series was, but it was pretty low. I think the fourth one, either the third or the fourth, I don't remember which one, was my favorite at 3.5 stars. So, mm. if you get a vibe of how I don't like the series, um, I preferred the Infernal Devices series uh, much more. Um, and even then, that one had its moments. Like, this middle book in that series, I did not like. Uh, at this point, Stingray has read the first one somewhat recently. It has been years since I read the There's a vlog. There's a vlog, There's too. You vlog. should go watch it. I sh it put me, it's called, I Tried to Read City of Bones, but it put me to sleep, so. Yeah. Um, um, it literally put me to sleep! <laughs> Listen, I love that for you. I never um, fall asleep reading, but I fell asleep reading that. I will reiterate, because I already, in the part that we already recorded, mentioned that in one of them, uh, the narrative, because I read most of these via audiobook, um, one of them was at least partially narrated, because uh, eventually, I think around book three or four, it starts becoming dual POV with Simon and Clary. Um, Why Simon? I don't fucking know. He somehow becomes a main character, and I don't understand. Um, no, I liked him, but, like, why him out of all the characters we have that are obviously main characters? Like, But um, one of the narrators in one of the books was Sophie Turner, a famous actress and married to a Jonas brother. Like, You mean Mr. Perfectly Fine? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't understand how they got her to do this. Um, I will say, uh, one, there was instant... What year was that that she did that and the... Where her career, where was her career at the time? That should tell you why. No, it was like a good chunk of the way through Game of Thrones. Like, I think. I don't know what she's done. She's, oh. She was a main character in Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, which is like one of the biggest shows ever. Yes, I understand the concept of Game of Thrones. And she was in a few X Men movies. Uh, uh -huh. She had a cameo scene in uh, the Netflix film Do Revenge. That was very funny. Um, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, she became like a main character in the X Men films as well. Uh, all that stuff. I think when she did it was when they Does were she wear in blue in the X-Men films? I don't think so. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't know anything about anything. She's the redhead. Um, I don't know anything about anything. Okay, okay listen, She's I'm... She's now, but... Um, no, there was... I think that's why it made me think about something else, a different character. I think when they recorded it was when, uh, there was a break for a bit in between seasons of Game of Thrones. Um... Uh, like, a year-long break or something like that, I think, but don't quote me on that. It's been, like, a year and a half, I think. I was listening to them the first time I ever embroidered. That's what I was doing when I listened to them. Yes. Good times. Um, yeah, no, it's a wild time. Uh, I will say, um, content warnings for, like, incest, um, sexual assault, murder, kidnapping, drugging, death, uh, parent death, um. Wow. False imprisonment. Wow. Uh, cheating. I, I actually already brought up the cheating one, but I guess I'll put that after I say the content warning stuff, because <laughs> that's important. Um, yeah, no, there's a lot of wild things that happen in these books, and I would just like to state that we do not condone Cassandra Clare and her actions. Yeah. Because wild. We don't like her. Yeah, um, uh, the way that she was, like, incest, but not actually incest, but also incest at the same time, but also not But also incest, plagiarism. But, but also incest, but also, like, it, it's, like, incest adjacent, like, 16 times. Um, like, even in the first one, when, like, Alec has a thing for Jace, like, it is labeled on the Shadowhunters wiki as them being, like, adoptive brothers. <sighs> incest adjacent, um, and technically... I will talk about when we get to that point in the list. Um, I love how we're like, yeah, let's not, but then we were talking about reading that one stepbrother book. <laughs> oh, that, that episode will already have that stepbrother. Ooh. I forget the name of it, but here, I can check. I have it. I'm going to read um, that one, too. I believe you. Um, not that one. Not that one. For the fans, that is going to be the oh, last Oh, God, hold on. on. Sorry, I did Spotify started playing again. It's going to be the last episode of 2023. I'm sick. Yeah. That's what I put it as. Love Why am I getting a potential spam? My very first potential spam? Oh my I got God. my very first potential spam call, everybody! 
I'm so Whoa! Bad. That's like me on a daily basis. I love it for you. Anyways, I have an important question. Uh, yes. True or false? Jace thinks that he has demon blood because he's in love with his uh, with Clary, who he believes is his sister. <laughs> <laughs> and only a demon would do such a thing. I'm gonna go with true. <laughs> you are right. It is true that this happened. I mean, lying. at least their leg is at least sealed. he's like aware that incest is not a good thing, right? There, like there was like this whole thing where they were in a fight and like with somebody and like she landed on top of him and then he was like clearly into her and they had learned that like. Uh, her father had experimented on people with both demon and angel blood, and he's like, I must have been experimented with demon blood, because there's no way someone who's normal would feel the way about their sister like I feel about you, as they're, like, basically straddling each other in a field. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> are so wild. Wait, the, the way that Sophie Turner, a famous actress, narrated one of them is so what the fuck? wild to me. Um, Simon... Uh, drinks Jace's blood and therefore can walk in the sun. True or false? Because he's a vampire. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can't do anything. When does Simon become a vampire? Not important. True or false? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with true. Simon, Simon the, uh... The guy who's always going in the friend zone ends up dating both a werewolf girl and, um, what's her name? Uh, is it, is it Alex's sister there. Isabel? Yeah, Isabel. He ends up dating both Isabel and a werewolf at the same time. True or false? I'm gonna go with false because no, no way. No. She's. <laughs> what? You mean to tell me she's actually not cool to give us a bad wolf, but she gives us all this other bullshit in the friend zone? What the fuck? There's a whole thing where she learns he's been seeing another woman at that same time and then the other woman breaks up with him and Jocelyn does brief or not Jocelyn Isabel does briefly too but then Isabel's so in love with him that she just takes him back <laughs> the fact that I really liked Simon too and then you give me this information uh it's so funny um at one point Clary uh puts a magical rune she makes up in th from thin air and puts it on, I believe, Luke's truck so that Luke's truck can drive on water cause, to get James who has been kidnapped by demons on a boat. <laughs> I'm gonna go with true. That is true. <laughs> I need you to pull out a fall sometime soon because this is too much. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of one. Uh, I can only think of true ones. Like, um... Well, make shit up. You're gonna need to say the most ridiculous thing ever in it. It's still sound fucking true, bestie. <laughs> um, 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 trying to think. There's so many wild things that happen that, like, what can I come up with that, like, compare... Just say something, bestie. Because, like, there's, like, this whole thing, like, uh, true or false, uh, Alec makes a deal with a vampire queen to try and make Magnus mortal in fear that Magnus doesn't truly love him because he's immortal and has had previous relationships. Uh, and so, like, how does he compare to all these past relationships he's been in? Uh, and then Magnus breaks up with him because, oh my god, he tried to turn him mortal against his will? Uh... I'm gonna kill myself just for, because of that information right there. Um, true or false, um, Magnus is the, like, you know that Magnus is the son of a demon of some kind. Uh, and it's yes. very early on, uh, assumed that he's the son of, like, a higher demon. Uh, true or false, he is the son of the devil himself. True. No, that's false. I can prove Wow. I mean, wow. They that's so sad. They do briefly when they go to hell in the last book. That's so sad. He should literally be the spawn of Satan. They, they he would be so real for that. Yeah. Um, true or false? I um, loved Magnus. I'm not gonna lie. True or false? Uh, at the last book, when they're in hell to get out of hell, uh, Magnus's father makes a deal with them to help them get out. Uh, but in payment, he will take all of Simon's memories of everyone. Please don't tell me that's true. That's true. <laughs> what the fuck? And they made the fucking deal that they Oh, I hate 
them. I hate them. Why do we hate Simon? Why does everybody hate fucking Simon? What the fuck did Simon do? He was the only powerful character throughout the whole fucking first book. Um, so, uh, Simon's, uh, werewolf girlfriend, uh, after she breaks up with Simon, um, she gets back together with the abusive ex who turned her into a vampire, or not vampire, werewolf, Bro. forcefully, uh, after Bro. she tried to break up with him. It's true or false? I'm gonna go with true, because Cassandra Clare is a little bitch! And then with this werewolf, uh, she does, multiple times throughout a book, she think about how she doesn't truly really love this man, and then feel bad about it after he dies in her arms and is like, you're my true love. True what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not even gonna answer that fucking question. You're, you're, this werewolf dude is like, saying, you're the love of my life. Yet, if he was abusive, I'm gonna go with true because it's Cassandra Clare. <laughs> the way I could clearly make this a whole entire episode. Like, I feel like I should stop now and just start making a whole new episode. I feel like you should cut this part out, but, like, save it and yes. put it in something else. Yes, we should do a whole separate episode. Like, we should just continue this and just turn it into another episode. Uh, I may. I may do it. You know, now, now it's time for the 29 that I wrote after that. Um, oh, spoiler, oh. a lot of these are not false. <laughs> Be prepared. Okay, um, ready. Um, while trying to get over Jace after learning he's her brother, Clary dates Simon just because he's there. Please don't tell me that's true. It's a main plot point in book two. Oh my god, I would throw that book across the room so fucking fast. Absolutely no fucking way. Okay, I really liked Simon in the first book because he was the only tolerable fucking character that he'd do that to! Don't worry, shortly after that, he dies. Claire, I'm in your fucking walls. Shortly after that, he dies. And becomes a vampire. And then they purposely bury him in a Jewish cemetery. And then Is he Jewish? Jewish? Yes. Okay. That's like the main character aspect we know about him. He's always I been forgot. Jewish. That's like what we know about him. Um, Listen, do you think I remember anything about that those books? That book, the singular book I read. No. Um, at the end of the last book, Jocelyn and Luke get married. I don't need. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know. I'm already can't. Like I already can't handle this. this is like I'm a gonna violent. go with. True. Yep, it's true. Um, that's, there's like, it's like the main fight battle stuff that happens at the end of book six, and then it just like, I already talked about how like Simon loses his memory. I forgot that the demon also takes away his immortality. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then it just cuts to like them being at the wedding, celebrating, and then Simon's, Simon's there, and then he slowly starts, like he has an inkling of remembering who Isabel is to him. And then, oh, I'm uh, pissed off. Brother Zachariah, one of the famous outside of yes. the brothers. Um, yes, I remember Brother Zachariah. Thank he you. Is, he's a really important character in the Infernal Devices series, but he stops becoming, stops being a brother so that he can be with his love. And a bunch of other shit happens. Um, a lot of the Silent Brothers get murdered. I didn't write that down, but that happens. <laughs> Um, you know, I really need to hate read the rest of the series now. He's what I the wanna, fuck? I want to hate reread them now. It's it's it just feels like a good book to just put on when I'm laying in bed and can't fall asleep, right? Like, right? Um, after Luke got bit by a werewolf back when he was uh when Valentine originally had the group of shadow hunters and whatnot, right? Um, in ye olden days, I say ye olden days. It was like twenty years prior. Um, back when Luke initially got bit by the werewolf, uh, due to his hatred of, uh, Nephilim. Valentine told Luke to kill himself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. I remember that shit. I read that book. I didn't remember which book that was in. Al, uh, when Alec, the first one. When Alec comes out, uh, his parents immediately accept his gayness. I feel like it's, that's false. Yeah, that's false. <laughs> Um, it's fine. We learn at the end of book okay. while at the wedding, Alex 
father once uh, was best friends, and you know that thing where, like, Shadow Hunters, I forget what it's called, Probathi or something like that, where they are connected, right? Um, yeah. Grace and Alec are connected. His hear me out, that's kind of gay. Do you hear me out? <laughs> Alex's father's version of that was a man and had a crush on him, but he ended their friendship and said no, and a bunch of other stuff happened. Yeah. You can guess. Oh, wow. So you're gonna have, like, a fucking, like, from what I understand, sort of spiritual connection and lead me to believe that's not gay? Mm -hmm. Okay, go off, I guess. Yeah. True or false? I would like to add, before you say true or false, he also said this right after finally accepting his son. He literally goes, I accept you, son, at this other people's wedding, and then also goes, I once had a gay man love me, and I broke his heart and was like, no, I no longer am friends with you. The, uh, considering from the other information, the way you're speaking, I'm going to go with true. Um, Jace briefly joined Valentine's crew. You didn't, you didn't confirm with your knife that was true or false? Is that true or is it false? Did Jace join Valentine's No, there was the far! Oh. Oh, no, that was, like, 100% true sure that happened. Yeah, okay, um. I thought that was just assumed. Yeah, it was. I just, just you know, I repeat, repeat what the what you just said. Uh, Jace joins Valentine's crew. Oh. Briefly. True. No, not really. Oh. <laughs> There's like a thing where uh his father tries or Valentine's tries and he's like um I'm good, um. So uh, I don't know. Listen. So I think it's in book three. Uh, there's this new character that comes up. His name's Sebastian. And, uh, at yes. this point, um, she's still trying to get over her feelings for Jace, uh, because they're brother and sister and all this stuff. So her solution is to start flirting with this new guy, Sebastian, who turns out to be her actual biological brother. I do not remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say true, just yeah, because. I don't remember if they kiss at this point or not, but don't worry, they will later. Um, I... Sebastian controls Jace's mind to be his partner in evil. You know what? Fuck it, true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What the fuck? Fairies make Clary kiss the person she loves most, who is Jace, obviously, uh, while she's dating Simon. That was like some fucked up shit. That would happen to Simon, so I'm going to say true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why do we hate Simon? What did Simon do? They, they have what? To be, be in love with the main character, but also uh, be Jewish? Is that what that is? There's no Simon's crime. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, this it just sounds were, like it. They had to go to um, the fairies to get some information, right? And like part of the fairy realm is that you can't eat or drink anything, or else you'll be stuck there forever unless you make a deal with them. And so, uh, Clary... Uh, something, like, bites her finger or something, and she ends up licking her finger to get the blood away, but there was also a drop of liquid on her finger. Uh, and so, oh no, tricked her into staying. And then the fairies are like, well, you can leave, but only if you kiss the person you love most. And Simon's like, fuck, it's okay, you can do it. And then she goes and makes out with you. Like, they're, it's literally every, all the people they love and are friends with, who know that they're siblings, watching these two siblings, assumably, make out heavily. <laughs> And it's so awkward. <laughs> um, Sebastian, Poor Simon. Sebastian and Jason wow. technically kidnapping Clary. I'm gonna go with true. Yep. In order, during this kidnapping scene, um, or bit, like the whole section of the, I believe, fourth book, um, in order to feel closer to his sister, Sebastian tries to force himself on Clary. Is that supposed to be a true or false, or is that just information? <laughs> true or false? It must be true or false. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with true. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ebby Ray, don't leave me alone in this right now, Ebby Ray. Ebby Ray. Ebby Ray. Ebby Ray. Oh. At the final battle at Book Six, um, they are in hell, right? Um, yeah. Sebastian's trying to turn, uh, basically Earth into hell, make it, like, one and the same, all the stuff, um, he's gonna be the king, and all this stuff, uh, and 
The only thing he okay, really sure, wants at this me. point, because he's like, it's working and all this stuff. At this point, the only thing he wants is for Clary to be his queen. So, in order to defeat Sebastian, um, she tricks him into thinking she'll be his queen, goes up to him, goes to kiss him, I think they actually do kiss, and then shanks him, killing him. I'm gonna go with true. Yeah, that happens. Valentine actually uses an army of demons in Book 3, that's the end battle in Book 3, um, to attack the city, leading to Alec and Isabel's younger brother, um, I forget his name, uh, Max, being murdered by Sebastian. Oh? No, that's true, that happened. Where are all these random ass people coming from? So, Sebastian, uh, at this point, has assumedly been a good guy, um, friends with him, uh, like a cousin of a family friend, um, making out with Clary, possibly occasionally, uh, being her friend or all this stuff, but to prove that he's actually a villain, he decides to, uh, break into the, uh, home of, uh, Alice's family, um, and takes a hammer and hits Max upside the head, uh, killing him, he's only nine years old at this time, um, it's like this big emotional scene with the funeral, uh, and then Isabel comes in, uh, and he hits her also, she almost dies, but survives, um, yeah, it's this whole big thing where, like, everyone's, like, very emotional because of it, um, and then I went, wait, who's Max, when I was reading it? Yeah! <laughs> um, Jay spangs another woman to get over Clary. True. False. Oh. Jason and Clary do it for the first time in hell. That's probably true. Yeah, that's true. Ninety eight percent of book six is in hell. And at what point they go off on their own to like and there's like demons all over the place, circling all over the place so they're not supposed to separate, and then they just bang. And I went, Hello, this is not the time or the place. Hello. I'm sorry, imagine banging someone for the first time who might be your fucking brother. While well, you're in fucking hell, I need to point, I need to hate read these books. I really need to hate read the rest of the books. Learn, at the end of book three, they do learn that uh, they are not actually siblings biologically. There is some stuff. Um, Simon, be because he's a vampire... Are they related by some fucked up marriage shit or something? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, I'll explain it in a bit. Simon, uh, being a vampire, joins a magical beings cult. A Nephilim cult. A cult? Yes. Yeah, he sounds stupid enough to do that. I'm gonna say true. No, but there is a group of, like, werewolves wow. and other magical beings who work together to help protect other Nephilim, um, from things. Because at this point, like, shadow hunters don't work to protect the Nephilim, just themselves and mortals, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, he ends up befriending a werewolf who, uh, like, he ends up getting an apartment with and, uh, working together to, like, protect Simon, um, and whatnot, and that's how he ends up meeting, uh, I think her name's, like, Marie or something, the werewolf girl who he ends up dating at the same time that he's dating Isabel, because he, and I quote, quote, couldn't choose, um, but it's not a cult, it's just an actual group, um, wow, he's stupid enough to join a cult, though, uh, Valentine did something called a mortal sword ritual, uh, I think it's to get the mortal sword, I don't know, um, via Simon and a random werewolf's blood. I, once again, fucked up shit, shit happened to Simon, I'm gonna say true. Yes, um, so at this point, Simon's a vampire, um, and so he basically bleeds Simon I'm still trying to get over the fact that he's a fucking vampire! <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And, and so, in order to survive, he has to drink Jace's blood. Um, at this point, we do not know this, but um, Jace has angel blood. Uh, I already talked about this. So, uh, by drinking Jace's angel blood unknowingly, uh, that is what makes us even walk in sunshine. Um, there's like this whole thing where they're driving away in the car that she made able to drive on water. Um, and they're like quickly trying to put like the blanket over him so he won't die because like the sun's coming up. But like they don't do it enough times. Uh, but he's fine. Um, it's okay. Uh, yay. You know, the more I hear about this series, the more I'm like, yeah, anything I could potentially write will be better than this, so maybe I do have a shot with something. <laughs> Due to uh, her angel blood via Valentine's experiments, Clary can create new runes of any kind. False. True, I've already said this three different oh. times. <laughs> 
I said it was like five seconds. I knew it was true. I just, I don't know. Valentine had a kidnapped angel to drain blood from for his experiments on his children. Oh, that sounds true. Yeah, that's true. And his name's Raziel. Um, fun fact, uh, in book two, I believe it is, or maybe it's three. Um, no, I think it's three because Sebastian comes in. And uh, at one point, uh, Jason and Clary are trying to find this book uh, that's in what is believed Jason's family home. Um, and so they uh, go to find this book, and they end up finding the angel there. And so Clary uses her magical rune abilities to free the angel. That's important. Um, at the final battle of book three, Valentine kills Jace. True. Yeah, um, Valentine has kidnapped, uh, Clary. I feel like I heard that somewhere before, so yeah. I was like, ooh. Yeah, he kidnapped Clary, put a bunch of magical spells on her so she couldn't, like, really move or say anything. Um, and so Jace shows up to save her. I think at this point he's already beat up, uh, Sebastian. I'm stupid. And no, then, the, hold on, no, the thing about her being able to do random ass ruins and shit. I should have known that already, because isn't that, like, doesn't that come up in literally the first book? Or am I stupid? That's, yeah, it's low-key, I think, in the first book. Um, but yeah, Jay shows up to save her, and so Valentine's like, well, I didn't want to do this, and then just stabs him right through the chest. Immediately, with a mortal sword. Um, yeah, good time. Um, Valentine summons his kidnapped angel, uh, Raziel, uh, who then kills Valentine in revenge. I'm gonna say false, I don't think we'd get that lucky. Yes, he does. Oh, um, that's how Valentine dies, oh. being shot by a fire arrow via an angel. That's fucking funny. Um, Raziel gives Clary one favor for helping free him and feeling bad for killing her father. She requests JC brought back from the dead. True. Yeah, that's that happens. Um, Clary did not go to Valentine's funeral. I would hope the fuck she did not. I would hope that is true. Yeah, that's true. Jocelyn, Luke, and Jace did attend Valentine's funeral. Why? <laughs> true or false? I'm gonna go with true because yeah, that seems like some fucked up shit. Literally, I was like, why the hell did Jace go? Because like he's not even his biological son, and literally was kidnapped by him as a baby. I mean, what? Um, that's important. Shh, you didn't hear that. Jace's mother was drugged with angel blood while pregnant. Uh, via Valentine. Via Valentine did not impregnate her, drugged her, um, and then murdered her and her husband, uh, and then kidnapped Jace as a baby, uh, because they were Jace's parents, uh, so he could, uh, raise him as his own. Kidnapped True. Jace as his own. Yep. <laughs> you spoiled it. Yeah, I did. Um. I'm sorry, how does she pull this shit out of her brain, the most mind-boggling, <laughs> baffling, bewildered, wildering shit in the world? Imagine your brain working like that. Like, I could never... I, me trying to come up with false ones. Honestly. After learning Jace is the son of Valentine... Um, I feel like she just rolled a couple dice and went down this list and then threw a couple darts. I was like, okay, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Um, you know? The way that the darts uh, landed on their siblings multiple times. Um, after learning Jace is the son of Valentine, he was kicked out of Shadowhunters and arrested. False. True, that's like a big thing in book two. Oh. Um, after they're not really siblings, Jason Clary, um, uh, yeah, I wrote not really because, like, technically he's her adoptive brother, but, you know, it's fine. After learning they're not really siblings, Jason Clary got together, but then Jace started dreaming of murdering her via a curse via, I think it was a vampire queen. Um, so he breaks up with her again. I'm gonna say true. Yeah, that's book four. Um, right after they get back together. Uh, at one point in book six, Jace buys Clary a sword. I think it's this. I don't know, it's true. Yeah, that's true. He buys her sword and then also gives her another sword. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, it was like before a big battle and whatever. Um, and I love like, how if, uh, if a woman bought another woman a sword, I'd be like, oh my god, it's so romantic. But these siblings, not siblings, siblings, not siblings, why would they do that? Um, last one. Uh, Clary gets a pet dog. Uh, I don't... Hear me out. I feel like she would have a really weird pet. Okay. I'm gonna go with false. I don't know. 
Yeah, that's false. Um, I, as far as I know, she doesn't have any pets. Now, um, uh, some true and false about post the books. Oh, uh, Lord. Clary and Jace are engaged, and co-run the Institute together. That sounds true. Yeah, that's true. Um, I believe it is Alec and Magnus adopt a child and name it after Alex's dead brother, Max. I don't know, that sounds like some shit gay people would do if written when they're written by oh, wait, wait, someone wait. like Cassandra Clare. <laughs> Yeah, that happens. Um, also, another thing that happens uh, in the book, true or false, um, Jace, or not Jace, Alec, uh, after coming out to his parents, moves in with Magnus. That better be fucking true. Yeah, it's true. Um, Hell yeah! When Alec and Magnus break up because Alec's attempt to make him mortal, um, Jace knows that Magnus and Alec belong together because when he goes to talk to Magnus about it, uh, because apparently he's a matchmaker, he uh, knows they belong to each together because Magnus is clearly upset via the fact that he has, uh, a, like, his whole apartment is a mess and there's, like, um, Chinese containers everywhere and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, the typical signs of yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that depression happens. breakup. That happens. Although why Jace just shows up and is like, hello. Um, at one point, uh, Magnus does bring up the fact that literally all the time, all he does is help these random shadow hunters do random shit, and he's like, sometimes possibly gets in trouble with other warlocks because he's like always helping these shadow hunters do things for free because he's dating Alec. Maybe Magnus should be a worse person. I don't know. I don't. Magnus Maybe he should like, do ter more terrible things. Magnus like, is like a fan favorite. Uh, and yeah, I, I know. I see why. Is, is, is I get the it. The one he's the one gay character we get throughout all the books. We gotta love him. We get one. We need him. Okay. Nothing else makes this shit tolerable. Honestly. Um, yeah, no. Uh anyway, I kind of wanna hate read read these. Um, you know. Should we hate read them together for like a collab video? <laughs> we should. We should. Um, that means you have to read the first one. Yeah. I already did that. That means I have to find them again. Just sit down in a week and listen to all six of them. God, that's so long. The last one's like 700 pages. I'm not listening. How many is there? Six. Yeah, I'm not rereading the first one. The fuck you think this is? No, I gotta sit down in a week and read six of them. Yeah, I gotta read five of them. So, you said we. I was like, no the fuck we ain't. Not all six of them, bitches. I gotta sit down in a week and just read all six of them and then cry myself to sleep. Because what the fuck? What the fuck are these books? Um, maybe by the time this episode comes out, we will have a, a co uh, vlog somehow. I don't know. Um, you know what we could do? We could do, like, one of us do the first three, the other one do the other three, uh, and it's kind of situated like a uh, big podcast, but kind of not. Um, where it's actually a video of us, uh, talking about them or something. I don't know. Um. I uh, I mean, yeah, we could, like, alternate them. That, too, because we already did the first one. Uh, that means I get six one. Oh, hell yeah, I get the sixth one. Sadly, you get the third one. I don't know. No. When, how did I rate them? I kind of want the last one, though, because don't they bang in hell? I want to be able to be like, why the fuck are these bitches banging in hell? Well, I was going to bring you in for it. I wasn't going to just be on my own. I was going to be like, okay, these are all the voice messages. Stay where you sent me. Uh, okay, well. Why does no, City of Bones not labeled as red for me? I don't know. Um, I need you to know, I, I rated it four stars as a throwaway rating. Because I didn't remember what I rated it or what I thought about it when I first read it. Um, yeah, I read I read City of Bones in 2020. As I need to I need to lower my rating because I gave it a 3.5 the six time around or something like that or a three. Now nah, that bitch is like a two a two and a half. <laughs> I gave it. Uh, first one is three. Second one is three. Uh, third one. I think I listened to the second one when I read in my room. Um, second one. Uh, 2.1. Oh, yeah, I remember. So, like, I was hanging out with a friend that I'm not friends with anymore. I wrote an actual very long review for the, sec the third one. Oh, my God. Um, anyways, I had it, like, playing out loud. 
uh, the audiobook mm-hmm. as I was playing games with a friend, so he had to listen to all of it, too. And so he gave it point one stars, and I gave it two stars. So it was a 2.1. You know, if you still roll for that. Uh, Maybe not anything else, but just that specific thing. Yeah. Uh, fourth one, I gave 3.5. Yeah, it's my favorite. Excuse me, fourth one's my favorite. That one gets to be on my page. Hell yeah. Um, fifth one, I rated 1.5 stars. Oh, my review is there should be trigger warnings for this book. I'm seriously not okay. I'm pretty sure this is the one where, uh, Val- or not Valentine, Sebastian mind controls Jace and has him join his crew, uh, and then they kidnap Clary, basically, um, and then he tries to assault Clary multiple times, um, and it's supposed to be like, well, it's okay. He's a demon. That's and, how, like, uh, she has no, works. like, trauma from it at all. It's just like, in the next book, she's just banging her other Hear me out. Hear me out. Defending all the demons out there. I'm so mad. I'm defending all the demons out here. Most demons wouldn't fucking do that. Only a certain subsect of demons would do that. And I believe that with my full chest. I love it for you. I am going to tell uh, the podcast now that the sixth one is the one with Sophie Turner. Because my review is three stars. The rating is very generous. And only because of one of the narrators. uh, Was an actor I really love. Uh, Did Sophie Turner really need a paycheck or something? Also, apparently, the second half of book six was my favorite part of the whole entire series. Why and the fact that it's 725 pages. What the fuck? And you, oh my god. Why am I, why am I like, yeah, let's hate read these. I already hate read the first one. Um, also, uh, by my opinion, Sebastian's a better villain than Valentine. Um, uh, yeah, no, 100%. Because Valentine's whole entire thing is like, I hate demons and Nephilim, and they should all die, so I'm gonna team up with demons and Nephilim to take down Shadowhunters to prove that I'm right. And then, literally, I'm pretty sure the angel goes, bitch, you dumb? <laughs> like, hello? Um, and then Sebastian's evil just because he's evil. At least you can tell, because he tries to fuck his sister multiple times. <laughs> yeah, because I... <laughs> yeah. That's a normal fucking sentence. Yes! Yeah. Listen, Cassandra Clare, yes. I have heard that, uh... People love this series. People have tattoos based on this series. People are obsessed with the series. People still rave about this series and this author and the rest of her books to this day. I know. This was uh, a very big popular thing in, like, actual, like, out-of-side book, online book culture as well. I did hear, um, that multiple times that the second half of the series, especially the last book, are more impactful if you've already read the... Infernal Devices series, because I uh, learned after the fact that certain character stuff that happens at the end is connected to characters from that series that takes place in, like, the 1800s or something. Um, Hear me out. If you're gonna write a prequel series, write the fucking prequels before you finish the other fucking series. So it, like, hits the way it's supposed to hit. Like, be so fucking serious. Like, that shit pisses me off. Why is it ten times more complicated to read this whole entire universe? Because, like, every time I talk about, like, no matter who you ask, on how to read the Shadowhunters universe, no matter what, you'll probably get a different answer. Like, it's yeah. so obscene. And, like, her own website has, like, six different versions on it. And, like, I feel like every time I've heard someone ask her how to read her universe, she answers it differently. And I'm like, hello? Because she don't even fucking know. Hello? Can you, like, actually just give it a fucking timeline? Like, literally, Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn series, the Cosmere universe, a big universe of books, uh, that has a large range of books that take place in multiple timelines and all this stuff, right? But, like, there's an easy, simple order to read them all in. Hear me out, bestie. But also, if you don't read them in that order, it's not the end of the world. Like, if you don't read Mistborn before the Way of the Kings, it's not the end of the world. You will still understand it. But, like, if Hear you me don't out. read the Infernal Device before you read the last book in the Moral Instrument series, then you will not get the emotional impact of the end of the book. Which, like, negates the... That, like, the point of the end of the book? I am so angry. I haven't even reread them yet. Why did we Hear me out. Hear me out. The the fact that the, uh, Brandon Sanderson's universes work like that is because he's objectively a good writer. Yes. Um, so yeah. We approve of Brandon Sanderson, I guess. What was the thing you sent me on Instagram? I don't fucking know. Words have butt vaginas? <laughs> That's the perfect thing to be in this episode. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Should I just save that as a clip? Oh my god. Maybe by the point this episode comes out, you'll actually be putting the clip so I just keep on sending you on the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs>